going through tough times. I had a lot of obstacles going on, of course. School, drama, everything. Dark times. Depression, and um, I was going through a tough time. I wasn't open. An unstable home life. My father was an addict with nowhere to turn. Homelessness, like I didn't have nowhere to go. On any given day, studies show 5,000 Detroiters struggle to survive poverty and homelessness. 25% of that population are 18 to 24 years old. Finding them a place to stay or a job was only a Band-Aid fix. Karina Jackson of the Mariners Inn, a shelter and drug treatment center, learned they first had to get to the root of the problem as teenagers. We couldn't understand why they weren't coming to work on time, coming dressed properly, and started to have a conversation and realized many of them carry trauma from years and years of being in a household with someone who was a drug addict mm -hmm. or they were homeless. That's when Jackson created the SHE program. I am strong, healthy, and empowered. A prevention program for at-risk girls and young women. They always say, oh, that's what that stands for. <laughs> Yeah, she stands for Stark, Healthy, and Empowered. The SHE program serving many of the daughters of the men who broke their addiction, but sadly, damage had already been done. Why would not be where I am at now? I can see, I can really see how mm, things wouldn't be as good as they are. Um, the SHE program has helped me so much through, mostly with me with the mental health thing. You know, it's not like a lot of help in our community. We are, are like going through generational traumas that we it's kind of hard to break, and we can break. The SHE program helps us break everything. Detroit's Jesse Hubbard Neighborhood Center is one of the locations where the girls ages 14 to 21 go to help break those barriers. Program coordinator Shamir Kimson says they learn life skills, receive therapy, exercise, education. It's a place to stay. They also provide transportation, the tools they need to graduate and work. But more than that, it provides a sisterhood, a family, that makes the girls feel safe. I had to build that trust over time and now they're able to communicate. I had some girls tell me and I don't trust women, I don't like them, and now we're like a family. To just see how much they've grown since the two years I've been working with the program um, is truly a blessing and it humbles me in a way. I learned how to communicate, open up, um, not be afraid, be open, outgoing. Since I've been in the group, I have been working every summer at the same place, and now I'm hired in, and like, that got me real far. So now I'm like, really, you know, working, like, for real. And it got me in, I was, I was happy, because I'm like, okay, now I have something I can depend on. Every day I can come home, I don't have to worry about where I'm going to go today, or what I'm gonna eat next, you know? And so with that, also their transportation, awesome. And if you aren't removing barriers, then you're setting them up for failure. But even if they do fail, through this program, the girls have become strong enough to overcome their most difficult times. It is my way of saying that I am a black queen and that no one, no matter how to my crown is, it will never come off and that I will always be fine with a sisterhood and family.